So let's balance this equation here. We have H2S plus SO2. We end up with S8 and H2O. Sometimes you'll see just S here in the products. In this case, we have octasulfur. So we're going to balance this equation with octasulfur. This turns out to be a little bit of a challenging equation. So let's first count the atoms up, and then we'll balance the equation. Two hydrogen atoms. Be careful with the sulfur. We have one here and one here. So we have one plus one. Two sulfur atoms, two oxygen atoms. Product side, two hydrogens, eight sulfurs, and then just the one oxygen. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an eight in front of the SO2 and see how that works out. So let's add up the sulfurs again and the oxygens. I have one plus eight. That gives me nine. Actually, I didn't balance the sulfurs, but let's keep going. And then oxygens, the eight times the two, that gives me 16 of those. I think I'm just going to put a 16 in front of the water because 1 times 16, that'll give me 16. And then hydrogens, 2 times 16, that'll give me 32. I looks like I'll have to put a 16 in front of the H2S, the hydrogen sulfide, because 2 times 16, that'll give me 32. And I need to update the sulfur atoms here. So now I have 16 times the 1, 16 plus 8. That gives me 24. And actually, if I put a 3 here, 3 times 8, that'll give me 24, and I'm done. So really, I think I got lucky by putting the 8 here first. If I put the 8 here or put 4 for both of these, that might not have worked out. If it didn't, I would have just then gone back and tried each one of those combinations until I solved the equation. You could also use the algebraic method. That might not be a bad thing to do on something as complicated as this, where you have sulfur here and here. It makes it a lot tougher. Either way, this is the balanced equation for H2S plus SO2 yields S8 plus H2O. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.